It's now nearly 50 years since Massey Ferguson changed the agricultural landscape forever, not only in this country, but all over the world. And we're taking this opportunity to celebrate those 50 years by paying tribute to one of the icons of the farming world. The first MF four-wheel drive conversions to appear in the UK were the result of collaboration between a British tractor exporter, Robert Eden, and the Italian Cellini Company. Cellini was formed in the late 1940s to import used tractors from Britain into Italy, which was starved of agricultural machinery as a result of the Second World War. Cellini developed the four-wheel drive system using ex-US Army war surplus axles. Eventually, some of the converted tractors were brought back into the UK by the Robert Eden Company, which by that time was run by William Fuller, an astute businessman and... Neil Cooper, who organized the harvesting of the show, also likes to give his machinery a run out at harvesting time. And every year, he and a few friends arrange to cut a couple of small fields where they can enjoy using the equipment and also get a good job done. This year, David Goodwin, who's farming the land for his cousin, has given permission for them to cut two fields of wheat down by the river Blackwater in Essex. But they need to get there first. The sledge was split in two with a foot latch that enabled a stack of six or eight bales to be left in the field. Riding on the sledge is very much like skiing and takes some getting used to, especially when there are no bales on the sledge and the ground is rough. The machines are now working in the second field, getting a lot of admiring looks from passing motorists, and what a magnificent sight they make. The team, enjoying themselves hugely, but also getting the job done over the two working weekends, consisted of Gordon Spooner with his magnificent 165 and baler, Paul Willis, who coped with the bale sledge, as well as cutting with his 780 combine. Neil with his 515 combine, MF35 and bale grab, along with brothers Carl and Alan Beard and Matthew Swan. And the whole team working under the direction of Doug Beard. The 515 and 780 combines working away, the 175 carting the grain, Gordon's 165 tractor and baler dealing with the straw, and the 135 stacking the bales. What a wonderful sight. And to cap it all, the magnificently restored Austin van in the background.
What a fitting way to end this 50th anniversary tribute to one of the most famous series of tractors and machinery in the history of agriculture.